weren't any big stars in it really, were there? Sean, Sean Connery. Sean Connery. Yeah. He's, he's only was... about five foot six, isn't he? <laughs> John <laughs> Cleese was the biggest star the of the film. But he's six foot five. It was just nice in those post-war years to get out the house and go somewhere where there's all nice golden lights and little goldfish swimming in the foyer. And, um, yeah, we had some really yeah, neat some cinemas in that. Liverpool. Grim faces at Downing Street this week, when, as the fuel crisis continues, the government announces a further cut in the bacon ration. In the 50s, which I suppose was when I was a kid, they were, they were fabulous places. Art Deco, wonderful and generally, places. you know, the screens were big and it was something quite different from any other sort of entertainment. Go on, Mother. Like Sit on your seat. At least it means fair shares yeah. for all. But a moment anyway... Go on. I'm going up. And I went to see everything of whatever standard. It didn't matter what it go, was. It didn't matter how go. good or bad it was. Where you were transported to a different world for an hour and a half. Oh, Mother. And it only cost nine pence. <laughs> I remember when you could go nine to the pence, cinema. You must have been in <laughs> Royal Circle. <laughs> we used to three. cram 50 of us into Gent's toilet for right. a penny. <laughs> and we watched. We'd only see film when door open. We we'll get much of an idea. Three boxes of Maltesers <laughs> and popcorns <laughs> and a Kiora orange squash. Oh, Kiora, oh, we had. We took all water. for a shilling. We took water. We, if we found an orange rolling on the floor, we'd squeeze it in there. Mm. That's the best way we could make orange. George is very apologetic, very modest about his involvement in Handmade. But to know that one of the driving forces behind the company is someone who knows all about the trials and tribulations of showbiz from the artist's point of view is actually one of the great attractions of working for Handmade. <laughs> Made me a movie mogul. <laughs> That's what they always say in the papers, movie mogul. I mean, it's stupid, really. I mean, it's just... I don't see any big mystique about the film business. In fact, I don't really think the film business is all it's cracked up to be, really. really. 